Well, my name is David Hunter and I'm retired, but in my working life, I was a medical physicist working in Toronto. I was born and raised here in Florenceville, New Brunswick, and I came back here and retired. I've always been interested in science and astronomy and cosmology and so forth. Then I realized, my heavens, you know, New Brunswick is going to be on the center line of this eclipse, and we should do something about it and take note of it. So now the lights are flashing. So these are the flashing lights. Originally, I thought it was just going to be a nice little hobby project. <laughs> which would just, I would just sort of semi-dabble in it, uh, and uh, it, it, it just went beyond that. The last time there was a total solar eclipse in central New Brunswick was in 932, more than a thousand years ago. And roughly speaking, just statistically, every 400 years, uh, any particular spot on Earth will experience a total solar eclipse. So this is, uh, this is a rare event. We're building and have built a what we're calling a balloon-borne solar telescope. So it's a little telescope to go above the clouds, if there are any clouds, during the upcoming solar eclipse, total solar eclipse on the 8th of April, 2024. And the project is to get better views of the Earth and the shadow of the moon and the sun during the eclipse from a high uh, altitude up to 100,000 feet. And we are uh, sending these images real time down to the ground and we'll be able to see them during the flight. There's the solar telescope camera, there's a other special camera here which is sending real time images at about 12 to 15 frames per second down to the ground. When the path of totality is coming up from Texas and the United States, it will be approaching New Brunswick from the west, southwest, and our cameras will be looking at the Earth in that direction some of the time, and we should be able to see the shadow of the moon approaching us at the, as, as uh, totality nears. So that's something you can't really see just on the ground. We have to have a recovery team to find the payload. It's a very involved process and, and involves quite a few people. And I'm grateful to all the people who have been working and continue to work on this project. I really am very thankful. I'm wow, I'm really doing a good job. <laughs> I'm Ian Guyberson. I, as David, I am a locally born and raised man. I knew about the eclipse and uh, I've always had somewhat of an interest in very basic astronomy and the telescope and the stars and so I just thought I could contribute something. He was looking for somebody that had a canoe, basically, <laughs> and I did and uh, just went from there. Well, I've ended up as part of the payload recovery team, which means the thing goes up 100,000 feet in theory and go somewhere depending on the wind direction and uh, velocity and lands somewhere, maybe in a river, maybe in the Gulf of St. Lawrence, maybe somebody's backyard. Uh, and we pick the thing up and try to get it home before dark. You're using software to pick the right picture? Yes. And that'll all be done on the payload? Yes, yeah. My name's Tom Hunter. I'm uh, technically on the launch team, but uh, I sort of a jack of all trades. Uh, I had heard about it and I knew David and he started looking uh, for volunteers and I said sure, it'd be great. I mean it's it's a once in a lifetime thing. It's a unique, you know, it'll never happen again. It's really an exciting project. 
I, f I farm. I've been farming here for about 35 years, well, 40 years now, and it's certainly a lot more exciting than some of the f work that I do day to day. Then if you watch this, you'll see that the uh, gimbals are moving properly, and you can see the image there, it's tracking it. Now it's not perfect. My brother Gordon asked me, he knows how much work I'm putting in this, and he said, David, why are you doing this? <laughs> and I couldn't, and the, I thought about it, and really the final answer was, it's my destiny. <laughs> it's, and so the bottom line is, we have a very special place here on Earth. The eclipse is one demonstration of that, and we should really uh, appreciate this and look after our home planet. It's an incredible situation that we as human beings, uh, we're alive, we're here on the planet, uh, we're conscious, uh, uh, and I just think it's, we're extremely lucky. So it's just, uh, just, it's just, uh, just that view of uh, thinking that we shouldn't take our existence and lives uh, uh, for granted and, and basically marvel at our life uh, every day.